Hello guys, this is Atia JT and today I will show you how to become a geologist in the Philippines. If you were interested in studying earth science and you wanted to pursue a Bachelor of Science degree in geology, I recommend you to sit back and watch this video till the end. Before I begin, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell. The Philippines is a geologically active country sitting on the edge of several plates colliding with one another. Every year, thousands of earthquakes are being recorded throughout the country, and 24 active volcanoes are being monitored 24-7 by FEBOX. However, several government agencies claim that despite the geographical location of the Philippines, the country still lacks geologists. So you might be wondering, how can I become a geologist then? Well, to answer your question, the first thing to do is to identify which schools in the Philippines offer this program. As of 2019, based on the November 2019 Geologist Licensure Examination results, the Professional Regulation Commission, also known as PRC, identifies six universities that offer Bachelor of Science in Geology degree. These schools are the University of the Philippines, in Diliman, Quezon City, Mapua University in Intramuros, Manila, Adamson University in Ermita, Manila, Partido State University in Goa, Camarines Sur, Negros Oriental State University in Dumaguete, Negros Oriental, and the University of Southeastern Philippines in Davao City. Typically, a Bachelor of Science in Geology degree lasts for a minimum of four years, just like my school, Partido State University. In other schools, like Adamson University, it can last up to a minimum of five years. Aside from these schools, I also found out that Siliman University in Dumaguete is now offering Bachelor of Science in Geology degree. If you know other schools in the country that offer this course, please let me know and comment it down below. Now that you're enrolled, you need to study for four to five years, sometimes even more. Make sure that you'll study hard so you can graduate on time. The curricula varies per school, but expect to encounter subjects like principles of geology, mineralogy, optical mineralogy, petrology, petrography, geochemistry, stratigraphy, structural geology, geomorphology, field geology, historical geology, paleontology, geophysics, resource geology, mining geology, geology of the Philippines and Southeast Asia, mining laws, geostatistics, engineering geology, environmental geology, and so much more. If you love to travel, you will also enjoy this course. When I was in college, we conducted numerous fieldworks and attended conferences related to our course. When I was in first year, we visited Buri, Northern Samar, and studied the geology of its rock formations. We had to work really hard on the field to get good grades, but during our last day on the island, our professors allowed us to enjoy and have fun. When I was in second year, I attended the Bicol Mining Summit in Legaspi, Albay, as well as the Namina Congress in Baguio City. Last January 2018, Mayon Volcano erupted, and together with my classmates, we visited Legaspi, and it was the first time I've seen a volcano erupting in real life. When I was in Fort Year, we visited the island of Catanduanes and conducted mapping and sampling activities. Those are some of the most memorable trips that I had during my college days. Aside from fieldworks, you will also be required to render internship at any company or government institution of your choice. In my school, the OGT subject is taken in the summer before your senior year. Since I am from Manila, I decided to apply as an intern at the FIVOX main office inside UP Diliman. I love studying natural disasters and I had a great time working for the institute. I will be creating a video in the future about my experiences as an intern for FIVOX, so watch out for that one. Another requirement before graduating is your college thesis. My thesis focused on the creation of a volcanic hazard map for the municipality of Goa, Camarines Sur, 
and the subsequent discovery of Mount Isarog's most recent eruption age through radiocarbon dating. I am also proud to say that Dr. Christopher G. Newhall, one of the leading volcanologists on the planet, served as my thesis advisor. However, the COVID-19 pandemic led to the cancellation of our final defense, and we were just given a grade based on the assessment of our professors. Nevertheless, I still decided to submit my paper for publication, and it is currently under review. I will be creating a video about my research paper as well, so make sure that you'll subscribe. Once you pass all of your subjects, you will now graduate from the university. Too bad for my batch, the pandemic postponed our school's graduation ceremony until further notice. In a parallel universe without the COVID-19 pandemic, I should have been studying hard during this time to prepare for the November 2020 geology licensure examinations. This is your final hurdle before you can say that you're a geologist. Every year, during the month of November, geology graduates from all over the Philippines converge at the city of Manila to take the board exam that lasts for three days. The subjects covered are general geology for the first day, petrology and mineralogy for the second day, and applied geology for the third day. After the examinations, you'll have to wait for a week or more for the results. Once you pass the board exams, you'll be entitled for a professional license and a membership with the Geological Society of the Philippines. This is the day that all geology graduates are waiting for. On this day, you will take your oath as a professional and as a GSB member in front of the representatives from the Professional Regulation Commission and the Geological Society of the Philippines. I attended my classmates' oath-taking ceremony last year just to see how it goes. Now that you're a geologist, it's up to you to choose your career path. You can work for the academe and become a professor, or you can also work for government agencies like FIVOX. Others work for private firms that focus on mining or petroleum, while others decide to find their luck abroad. At the end of the day, be proud because you're one of the few Filipino geologists who managed to get this far. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more geology-related content. Thank you so much for watching.